for many of us, working from home is becoming the new normal, and it may stay that way. One survey found that 30 to 40 percent of the workforce will likely do at least some work remotely after the pandemic. Some people are experiencing burnout trying to adjust, though. Mo Vela with Transparent Business says there are five ways to manage that. First, create a designated office space to clearly distinguish work life from personal. Next, take some time to learn best practices through online courses on sites like LinkedIn. Stay connected with people in the office with a mix of video and phone calls. Also, communicate with your manager to make sure your daily goals are clear. And make sure to take small breaks throughout the day. Once people can start getting out of the house more and kids can return to school or daycare, Fella says it will likely get a lot easier and both employers and employees will see huge benefits by teleworking. Employers, they're saving on the average of $11,000 per employee per year. Less commercial office space rent, office related expenses, so on and so forth. Less absenteeism from employees, a healthier workforce, a happier workforce. And guess what that means? Productivity up all the way sometimes up to 50% higher productivity in the up. And there's study after study that show that. Employees win with what I alluded to earlier, which is this incredibly improved work-life balance. You get two to three hours of your day back by not having to commute. Another benefit for employees, you're able to save some of that money that you would normally spend on gas or transportation.